With the new Mac OS 10.14 update and iOS 13 update, Apple released a new exciting feature, the ability to basically turn your iPad into a portable monitor for your Mac, labeled Sidecar. Get it? Because it's a tiny screen compared to your, to your bigger one? <laughs> but wait, there's already an app out there that does just that. It's called Duet Display. The question then becomes, why should I bother paying for something that costs $10 when Apple lets me do that for free already? And the answer might surprise you. Let's start off by talking about compatibility. Apple Sidecar only works with the limited number of Macs and iPads that Apple outlines on their support site, and it's really, really limited. Which means if you haven't upgraded your Apple gear in the last, say, three or four years, and you're hoping to turn your ancient, barely functioning iPad or Mac into a dual display beast of a workstation, it's not gonna work out. On the other hand, Duet Display works with any Mac running Mac OS 10.9 and above, and iOS devices running iOS 13 and above, which opens up a lot of different Macs and iPads. Not only that, but they have support for Android and Windows devices as well. I personally haven't tested Android devices with Duet, but pairing my iPad to my Windows desktop has been pretty much painless. With the exception of some minor issues, of course. So in terms of versatility, Duet Display is definitely more versatile with compatibility, but I find that older Mac and PCs struggle with running Duet Display at higher quality settings, and on lower spec machines can cause the screen to to really stutter. Now let's compare usability. Sidecar can be used wirelessly or connected via USB. The display quality is good. It's not retina quality, but good considering my iPad size. Lag is minimal and you get some cool features like pulling up a touch keyboard and a button to quickly move the dock across screens. Touchscreen support is finicky. Some things you can use the touchscreen for, like scrolling through Safari, but you can't click on things with the display, despite still being in Safari. On the other hand, Duet Display requires a wired connection from your laptop to your tablet, unless you pay for the $20 a year Air subscription plan, which sucks considering you already paid $10 for this app. And the image quality is just as good as Sidecar on its highest settings, except the colors are a little more washed in my opinion. But Duet Display does let you choose what resolution you want your iPad to use, as well as the frame rate and energy efficiency settings on both Mac and PC. But Duet Display does have full touch support. On paper, both seem fantastic, offering sometimes unique benefits that the other one doesn't have. I've had Duet Display for about two to three years, and I can tell you, while it works great most of the time, it's also provided me some minor problems too. It messes with your computer's drivers to get it to work properly, so some updates do weird things. Like one time my MacBook Pro would constantly have transparency turned off. I would of course turn that back on because it made the UI prettier. Yeah, I'm I'm a sucker for aesthetics, but when I let the MacBook sleep and later open it up again, same problem, consistently. It didn't fix itself until I uninstalled Duet or the app updated. Another issue I've had with Duet is that for a while, while using it on my PC, it would stop me from playing some games by outright crashing it, like Skyrim, The Witcher 3, and Dragon Age Inquisition. It really looked like it hated Western fantasy RPGs for some reason. Sidecar, on the other hand, works mostly without issues, but lacks options to scale the UI or resolution at least on my sixth generation iPad. And I can't seem to get Sidecar set up with a physical connection. I'll pin a comment if I haven't figured that one out. So in conclusion, yes, Sidecar is a great free option to turn your iPad into a secondary display. If you can use nothing but newer Apple devices, then it's probably all you need. But Duet Display still has a place in this world. While it does sometimes cause minor driver issues, it still gives you the most robust control of turning your iPad, iPhone, Android phone, or tablet into a secondary display, and that's support for more than one operating system. So while Sidecar is great, it won't replace Duet Display. But to be honest with you, it does complement it really well, especially since you can use it wirelessly without paying for it. Anyway guys, what do you think? Is purchasing Duet Display worth it now that Apple baked in their own first party application to turn your iPad into a display? Leave that in the comment section below. If you have any other thing you wanna say, leave that also down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.